All right, something in the closet keeps moving. The cat, he keeps freaking the cat out. See that damn curtain. There it goes again. Mumbles. See, I don't know. I don't know what in the world. And she keeps going over here to it. You know. Oh. Hell no. See this shit is what was going on a while ago. Damn curtain. Over here moving. There is nothing in the closet. That I know of. It's creeping me the hell out. I mean, I don't know what the hell it is. Uh uh, no, no. Oh, hell no. I'm done. Uh, I knew. Nope. It's the second damn thing that's flew out of there. Go away. <laughs> Shit's been thrown over. tripod with no no camera on that to be in charge Like something's in the roof.
Go away. Stop. Stop this. Cat's crying at window, but I'm not letting her in. I feel like I was seeing an arm shoot across the top uh, top of the screen. Who's here with me now? Is this Vlad? I think he said Vlad. Is, is Vlad here? Please stop doing what you're doing and leave me alone. Will you leave me? Tell me what I need to do. Vlad, are you here? If you are, said Vlad.
shit loads of noise. Why is that? Sounds like someone's just ripped a door off. See, we've just been up. Um, still going. The dragging sounds and everything. There, there is nothing up there. What can make that sound? Some Christmas decorations, a tree, but. watching guys Hey you guys, uh, I just wanted to show you guys a pretty quick feature of the Xbox One and its Kinect. It actually has a pretty cool night vision that I just uh, found today. If you guys already know it has night vision, then I'm going to show the people who don't know. So, right now it's completely dark in this house right now. All you can basically see is my Xbox One controller. Now I'm going to switch on the night vision for you guys. As you can see it's just, it lights up the whole room, it's actually a pretty cool feature. Um, I, they, I don't know if they have an app for this or whatnot, but uh, they also have this uh, version of the camera. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's either an infrared or something like that. And then uh, back to the dark. As you can see, all you can see is my Xbox controller. And then back to night vision. It's actually a pretty cool feature for the Xbox Connect that I haven't really heard of until now. Maybe they have an app for it or something like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. 
funny anymore, man. What the fuck, dude? Alvin. Shit ain't funny, man. Fuck. Alvin. So the first few things that I wanted to share with you guys was actually something that we caught during a Spooky Sunday video a few weeks ago. We were doing a paranormal investigation in our very own home, trying out the brand new Ghost Tube Vox app. After having a lot of success with the Ghost Tube SLS app the previous week. And just to put it briefly, the app has um, a built-in spirit box, which doesn't actually use a word bank like other apps do, like the Necrophonic. It uses a different variety of websites, so you never get the same word twice or same sound. And it said that the spirits will be able to manipulate the technology within your iPhone or Android to be able to draw on these words from these different websites to communicate with you. But that wasn't all we caught. We did catch some very interesting uh, answers, yes, but the interesting things came away from the Ghost Tube Box app. So downstairs, we had a laser grid pen set up with a camera, and I think this is where we caught one of the most chilling clips we've ever captured. Take a look at this. As you can see on the laser grid pen, there is a figure that reaches out to the door or appears around the door, moves the handle, opens the door and disappears again. We've never captured anything like this. We have caught things on the laser grid pen before when the shadows have passed over it, but never anything like this. And the way that it moves and the way that it looks really intrigued us as well, because instead of it being a solid dark figure, Instead, there appears to be a bit of a mist around it where it doesn't quite break the laser beams, but instead disorientates them, which really creeped us out and we weren't too sure what to think of it. So the next clip also came off the back of that paranormal investigation using the Ghost Tube Box app. Being home alone at the time and investigating on the middle floor, between the top and the bottom floor, um, I could hear some taps around the stairs, like knocks and bangs. And after kind of investigating that a little bit, as I was about to head downstairs and prep to finish, I heard what sounded like a, someone pounding their way up the stairs. Not quickly, but it was like a doof, doof, doof. Take a look. Just heard a Oh my god, it's still tapping. It's just stopped. I heard a tap on these stairs again. 
the last time we tried the SLS cam, these stairs, it was like there was someone banging down the stairs, but this was like a slow footstep. Like, you know, but it was only like a couple of steps. Like it was like the top few steps. As you can see from that clip, as I go to investigate, I pan my camera up the stairs and there are still knocks, but nobody there. This really freaked me out. So I sprinted to the top of the stairs just to show that there was nobody up there who could have made those noises. And as I look back down the stairs, still nobody's there. We did have an instance of similar to this before, but it sounded like someone was running down the stairs. Instead, this time it sounded like someone was thumping their way up or maybe even down the stairs. What do you guys think on this one? Let me know down in the comments. Just heard it. Oh my God, it's still tapping. It's just stopped. I heard a tap on these um. stairs again. The last time we tried the SLS cam, these stairs, it was like there was someone banging down the stairs, but this was like a slow footstep. Like, you know, but it was only like a couple of steps, like it was like the top few steps. This next clip that I'm gonna share with you guys was actually from the Spooky Sunday that we shared the day that Lainey went into labor. And I was trying to do a, um, an EVP session using one of the little voice recorders that we've got. We've done this before to varying levels of success, so I thought I'd give it another try. Um, and leaving the EVP meter downstairs, I headed upstairs to ask some questions for Dave and Andy to respond to around the recorder in the living room. Me and Lainey were both upstairs as documented on the camera and we thought that we would just capture the results on the EVP recorder. We never expected what we would catch on the camera. Take a look at this. I think this is by far one of the most chilling clips we've ever caught to date and one of the most compelling in my opinion. As you can see, walking across the wall, there is not just one, but two shadows, two separate shadows. And the creepiest part of it all is the way that it ducks at the end, just squatting down and disappearing. Still going, definitely. Is that? Is that? Fuck. Lady! Everyone's saying that they saw an orb. The orb. Oh my god, this is stressing me out. 